Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve system of linear equations. This topic is under the systems of linear equation in which we have three different methods on how to solve the given system of linear equations. We have the graphical method, substitution method, and elimination method. And in, in today's video, ang target natin ngayon is to focus on how to use the substitution method. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here two different examples in which we will solve the systems using substitution method. Pag sinabi natin solving systems of linear equation, ang target natin is to find the value of the variable x and y that, is, that will satisfy the whole systems of equation or the two equations involved in that given system. So let's try item number one. We have y is equal to x plus 3 and then 3x plus 2y is equal to 15. This is your equation number one and this is your equation number two. So first thing you need to do here, guys, is to choose the simplest equation. Kasi ang target natin dito guys ay to solve for a temporary value of x or y para magamit natin into substitution. So ang pinaka-clue doon, hanap ka ng variable with a coefficient of 1. And dito sa ating equation, ready na yung equation number 1 natin. In which, as you can see, your y is equal to x plus 3. Your y variable is already isolated. That's why it's easier for us to substitute or to use this for the method. Pero yung iba kasi guys, yung iba kasi hindi pa ganito, hindi pa isolated yung variable x o yung variable y. So dito, we can directly use this to the second equation to solve for x. If meron na tayong isolated variable of y, kapag y yung nakuha natin ha, pag y, ang mangyayari, yung x ang hahanapin natin using the next equation. Hindi pwede yung x sub 1, yung equation number 1 din. So we will substitute um, x plus 3 because y is equal to x plus 3 to this equation. It will become 3x plus y plus 2y pala is equal to 15. Copyin ko lang muna. And we will replace this variable y by 2x by x plus 3. And it will become 3x plus 2 times. We will replace y by x plus 3 and then equal to 15. So to solve for x, we need to simplify this. This will become 3x plus, this is 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 15. What you need to do is to combine these terms. Ang 3x plus 2x data is equal to 5x. This is 5x. And then we will transpose 6 to the other side of the equation. It will become 15 minus 6. Then you have 5x is equal to 9. And dividing both sides by x, I by 5, cancel, cancel, your x is equal to 9 over 5. As you can see guys, medyo mahihirap yung nakuha natin yung unong value ng x because the value of x is a fraction. But don't worry, um, we will use this to solve for the value of y. And for me, instead of using equation number 2, I'll be using equation number 1 because y is already isolated. Now to solve for x, solve for x, Gamitin ko yung first equation, y is equal to x plus 3. So, since your x is equal to 9 over 5, we can replace this variable. It will become y is equal to 9 over 5 plus 3. Okay? 9 over 5 plus 3. And this, ha, yung x natin ay pinalitan lang natin. Because x is equal to 9 over 5. And we need to solve for this. Gamitin na nga, LCD na lang para classic. The LCD is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 9, that is 9. Plus, meron tayo ng invisible 1. 5 divided by 1 is 5 times 3, which is 15. 
Now, simplifying this, your y, your y is equal to 24 over 5. Ito na ngayon yung value ng y na meron tayo. Ngayon guys, if you want to check your answer, you can substitute these values to the given equation. So, ito ngayon natin para makoncheck yung tayo. Sana kumahin siya. Okay? For the first equation, y is equal to x plus 3. I will replace x, I make y by 24 over 5 is equal to your x, which is 9 over 5, plus 3. And pag simplify natin to, this is 25, 24 over 5. And dito, gamit yung ating LCD, as you can see, ito na rin yung guys, so diba? Yung ginawa natin kanina. Ito na rin yun eh. This is 24 over 5. As you can see, they are equal. Yung sagot natin dito ay equal. So, nasatisfy natin yung first equation. But we're not yet done, guys. We need to also satisfy, we also need to satisfy the second equation. So, gagawin natin ngayon, we will use or copy the, the original equation. We have 3x plus 2y is equal to 15. Your x here is 9 over 5. So, 3 times 9 over 5. And lagi na naman guys, we need to substitute the value of the variables. Plus 2 times 24 over 5 is equal to 15. Pag simplify natin ito, this is 27 over 5 plus 48 over 5 is equal to 15. Let's add 27 plus 48. Is 75 over 5 is equal to 15. When you simplify the fraction 75 over 5, that is also equal to 15. So we have 15 is equal to 15. And as you can see, they are equal. Anong ibig sabihin nito guys? If uh, we satisfy the two, the two equation, ibig sabihin, we are correct. Patawa yung sabihin natin for the value of x and y. Or in other words, the solution the solution for this system is simply 9 over 5 for x, comma, 24 over 5. 24 over 5. We're following the pattern of x, comma, y. Okay? So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have an extra solution because uh, dito, the value of y is already isolated, the meron tayong variable na na-solve na agad. Dito, I'll be using ex uh, equation number 1. So, bakit po? Kasi meron na tayo, meron tayo itong variable na ang coefficient niya ay 1 lang. So, we have 3x plus y is equal to 6. I will transpose 3x to the other side. It will become y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Ito naman yung ano natin, preliminary value of point natin. And since ginamit ko yung first equation natin, I'll be using this value to the second equation. So we will substitute that. That is 2x plus, sorry, minus 5 times, so yung opinion muna, minus 5y is equal to 4. And since meron tayo itong y, we can replace it by negative 3x plus 6. So this is 2x minus 5 times negative 3x plus 6 is equal to 4. And by distributive property, multiply lang natin yan, it will give us 2x plus 15x minus 30 is equal to 0. And combining these terms, this is 17x. Ito transpose natin sa kabila. Okay? Tama? So, give us, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, 4. Okay, sorry. 4. It will give us 30 plus 4. And we simplify this. This is 17x is equal to 34. And to solve for x, guys, all you need to do is divide this by 17. 17. And simplify, simplify, your x is equal to 
2. Ito yung isang value ng x natin. Now, since we are done solving for the variable x, ang next step naman natin is to solve for the variable y. Right? Now, to solve for y, pwede na natin gamitin ito. Kasi, uh, isolated is the variable y. Guys, sir, third equation po ba yung no? This is the original equation or the first equation. So I will solve for y. y is equal to 3, negative 3x plus 6 in which your x is equal to 2. So we will replace this x by 2. You have y is equal to negative 3 times 2 plus 6. And simplify this, your y is equal to negative 6 plus 6. Tama? Okay? So as you can see guys, yung y natin ay 0. So hindi pa tayo mag-declare na ang solution set natin ay 2,0. We need to do the checking. For the checking naman guys, using the original equation, you have 3x plus y is equal to 6. Tapos, 2x minus 5y is equal to 4. We will replace um, x by 2, uh, y by 0. So this is 3 times 2 plus 0 is equal to 6. And simplify ito, 6 is equal to 6. As you can see, we satisfy natin yung first equation. As for the second equation, this is 2 times 2 minus 5 times 0 is equal to 4 and this is 4 is equal to 4. Since we are done checking, we can declare that ito ah, the solution for this given systems of linear equation is 2,0. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin. I hope guys na natuto kayo on how to solve systems of linear equation by substitution method. And by the way guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!